My name is Mark Schmidt. I'm the chef de cuisine of Fort Oak Restaurant here in San Diego, California. I love cooking with potatoes because they're a very versatile ingredient. It's seasonal, but you can use year round. You are allowed to absorb and soak different flavor profiles throughout menu items, also creating textural components to the dish, using a variety of different potatoes with moisture, starch, and overall texture. Another reason why we chose to highlight potatoes is because they're so versatile. It holds up really well with to-go food. And you're definitely able to create comfort or also have a little bit of a technique to it, kind of finding that balance between fine dining and casual flair. Potatoes bridge those two together. This dish is popiette of crusted potato, black bass, with braised leek and burr rouge sauce. Potato is utilized in this dish a few different applications. The first one is taking a russet potato, peeling, then thinly slicing on a mandolin, followed by blanching in 275 degree canola oil, allowing the potato to lightly cook for about 10 to 15 seconds. From there, then you're going to shingle the potato and place the seasoned black bass in between the potato and then wrapped all the way throughout. This dish is something that kind of hits home to me because working in New York with Le Cirque Restaurant, this is a signature dish that is on the menu with Daniel Baloud from long, long time ago, but still is on the menu. It's so simple, elegant, but also creates a lot of technique. Although this is not a traditional takeout dish, guests are still looking for a more refined option. I wanted to showcase that option for the guest. This dish is a breakfast sausage and hash brown quiche. So to make this dish, you take eggs, a little bit of Gruyere cheese, grated, whole milk, hash browns that have been torn by hand, chopped up green onion, and then breakfast sausage. I chose to tear the hash browns by hand to create a texture difference in with the sausage and the egg itself. After baking in 350 degree oven, pull it out, let it rest. The potatoes really hold up well in this dish because they soak up a lot of flavor and they create a lot of moisture inside of the dish as it's baking. This dish is a beef fat twice baked potato, spinach, caramelized shallot, feta cheese, green onion, and roasted corn. We use the potato skin and a russet potato. The potato skin has been burnt in the oven to make a potato ash. The russet potato is baked first and then removed the skin mixed together with heavy cream, beef fat, spinach that has been blanched, caramelized shallots, feta cheese, and green onion. And then putting that inside of a potato skin and then baking it again, giving it that extra layer of flavor. So this is a great dish for takeout simply because it holds its temperature really, really well. Parisian gnocchi is commonly made with out potato. However, this time we decided to add dehydrated potato that shows a little bit of diverse flavor and texture. As soon as the potatoes are fried golden crispy, you then take them out, toss them in kosher salt, and then put them on the plate coated with pecorino cheese, garnished with prosciutto, and a small amount of pickled fennel. I chose to use this item to highlight to go based on the fact that it has a great shelf life and as soon as you put it in a plastic container and then take it home, you can eat it in your car without a mess or you can just enjoy it at home with dinner. This dish is a potato sausage with heirloom beans, potato twill, and frisée. The way that this dish came together was utilizing a raw russet potato and blending that with pork shoulder and pork fat back, onion, granulated garlic, fresh garlic, and salt. From there, it then goes into a sausage press. We use hog casings because that is the perfect size that I like to use for grilling or searing. Another potato application in this dish is doing a potato twill. All we did with that was take a dehydrated hash brown potato and blend it with Parmesan cheese, make a small pile onto a silt pat, and then baked until golden brown. I love this dish for takeout because a simple sausage and bean dish can be eaten warm, cold, or in between and is a more refined take on a classic dish.